Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Cyberpunk 2077 100% walkthrough. Thanks for joining me today and let's get started. Alright, so this dialogue that I'm going to get from Johnny is actually missable. Basically, Johnny is going to explain why he wants to take over my body. So, we're going to select this option here. Whoop, another speech about demolishing Arasaka incoming. So, this is the part where you ready? divulge your master plan to annihilate Arasaka? No. It's the part where I say I despise petty merc thieves who think they're hot shit rebels after setting foot in the afterlife. Might think you took on Arasaka, but you're just a bug they scraped off the sole of their boot and tossed in the trash. Arasaka killed you too, remember? Says the most inept terrorist in human history. Need I remind you how you let Arasaka crush your soul and put you here? A nomad could never understand what it means to fight for the city. Die for it. Alright, we have optional dialogue. This won't affect anything, so just select you're the worst kind of asshole. Let's get you're out a dick, of here. You know. And you're a cunt. Maybe we'll fit together after all. <laughs> what a fucking guy. I love Johnny though. Alright, seems to know a lot about my past. You sure seem to know a lot about my past. Well, seen flashes of your past. Just like you've seen flashes of mine. You know, I'm scared I'll lose myself. Stop being me. Honestly, I'm scared of the day I'll start seeing your memories as my own. Shit. If it's a two-way street, I'll somehow have to live with the fact that I let Deshaun best me. Fuck me over. The moment when I turn into you, will I notice it? So, listen. Will... Will I notice a change, or... Is it one of those things where... I wonder why I ever feared it? Worst thing you can do to a human, rip their identity out of them. That's all I know. How's life in my body? I ain't find life under my skin. Well, most things are either too big or too small. Not to mention the clusterfuck that are your hormones. And the lag between sight and touch. Infuriating. When you take a bite of pizza, it takes ages before I know you fucking burn the roof of your mouth. Plus, Used to be five minutes wouldn't pass before I had a fresh cig in my hand. Now I'm itching for nicotine. Getting used to it, I guess. But it's no fucking picnic. Can you just tell me what you want? What you really want? Help me settle my score against Arasaka. That's it. Not a clear goal, like I do. Your goal is to bury so, Arasaka. Ready? Demolish it. Mines to stay above ground. Seem pretty clearly defined, both. Actually aligned pretty nicely, too. You need Mikoshi to save your life? That done, I can burn it to the ground. Man, do you go around in circles? There it is. The Crusade. Get to Mikoshi, smash the system. Okay. I'll tell you why I want to destroy Arasaka, but I'll only tell you once. Want to hear it? Yes. All right. I saw a corpse strip farmers of water, and eventually of land. Saw them transform Night City into a machine fueled by people's crushed spirits, broken dreams, and emptied pockets. Corpse have long controlled our lives, taken lots, and now they're after our souls. Damn straight. Might be right. Can't really argue with you there. V, I've declared war not because capitalism's a thorn in my side or out of nostalgia for an America gone by. This war's a people's war against a system that spiraled out of our control. It's a war against the fucking forces of entropy. Understand? Do whatever it takes to stop them, defeat them, gut them. If I gotta kill, I'll kill. If I need your body, I'll fucking take it. Fucking hell. You still don't see it, but you will one day. Alright, so let's find the nearest teleport here. Here's what we're gonna do, guys. Select journal. And we're actually gonna do the space in between to continue this storyline here. Okay, so we wanna go to this teleport right here. 
is right across here. And I'm gonna have to call Judy in just a second here. First, I'm gonna teleport to Mega Building H8, new vehicle for sale. Actually, this was the wrong building, I think. Yeah, fuck. I meant my apartment building, but it's okay. We'll just head down to the mission right now. I'll deal with it after. I kind of wanted to deposit some stuff. But I'm at the wrong apartment. Okay, so let's call Judy. So select Judy Alvarez. B. You called. <laughs> Promised I would, didn't I? Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock. Goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find him? Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck me. Guys, all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Oh, Alright, later V. Alright, let's proceed to Jig Jig Street. And... Yeah, I think it's around this corner here. Alright, here are these fools. Oh wait, hold on. Fuck. Hey, not one step closer. Here to see who. Okay, you gotta make sure you get close to him so we can get the dialogue. I don't want any trouble. Looking for fingers. Looking for a ripper doc. Goes by fingers. Know where I can find him? Who's asking? And why? Got a bust implant. Got a problem with an implant. Not from around here. Couldn't find another ripper in the city to patch you up? Heard fingers was the best. Yeah, the best for joy girls. Are you a whore? No, but you are. No, but you are, from the look of things. Yo, you hear what this motherfucker said to me? Best watch your tongue. I'd say it again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Just apologize for that, asshole! You gonna cry to your mommy? You gonna cry to your mommy? I never apologize, it's trash, buddy. You gotta be worth a damn to get an apology from me. Woo! That's right! You get him, boy! Woo! Oh, well, let me get, get, get the reload off. Ah, oh, you suck at the drone. Fuck. Okay, what is this? It is... Eh. I'll just disassemble it or something. I fucking accidentally pressed the R key to reload when I had like three bullets left. It kind of fucked me up. <laughs> I do that sometimes. The slip of the finger. Dude, Sound shut up! I can't hair. fucking hear Johnny! Fucking dick, I should kill you. You got any more fucking- You gotta talk louder, Johnny. This guy's fucking ten times louder than you. Did we already loot this place from before, guys? This is just some extra stuff. Hey, you alright? 
No way I'm gonna swim! I hate water! Can't you see nobody cares? His fingers around? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, only I got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Um, okay. Thanks, buddy. You're a big help. Appreciate it. Hey, hands off! I think I'm scared of your skinny ass. The fuck's going on now? Will be when every mocked in town on this shit. Jesus Christ. You got a financial claim? Take it to court. You Fuck pussy. off and leave me Hope be. that teaches those candy ass guys. I guess okay. not to come Everyone's around here no more. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Hello, there's a line. Nah, -uh, you ain't good. Oh, shut off, you Sit bunch of fucking whores. You know fingers. Fingers guy. You know him. Heard some things, yeah. Like his hand sometimes slips. <laughs> Well, I mean, I guess me and him have something in common. Look in the mirror. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. Why'd Evelyn go back to the clouds? After the heist, Evelyn hold up with the mocks for a while, right? That's right. So why the hell she go back to clouds? <laughs> Thought she'd be safer there. God knows why. Tried to get her to see straight, but she wouldn't listen. You talk to fingers yet? You talk to fingers yet? If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front. Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Why is my character so small? Think Evelyn's here? Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere. On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God no, because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. I'm on my tippy toes right now. Yeah, I'm taller than you, Judy. Evelyn, she means a lot to you. She means a lot to you, doesn't she? And you've arrived at that conclusion how exactly? The moment you knew where she was, you sprang into action. Once you get close to Evelyn, you never want to let her go. You used to work at the clouds? You worked at clouds? Not as a doll. Tuned their virtues. That's where I met Ev, Tom, and the rest of the crew. Okay. Scan. 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 Alright, she's the target. So, seen a girl with blue hair around here? You see a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. My friend here is in really bad shape. Could we cut in front? My friend here, she's in real sorry shape. You couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Ugh! Honey, be my guest. Well, now hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open Come on, the let's go. Suckers. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Ah, How about shit. Now? Wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. Faceplate's previous owner had a longer face than you. Edges are stretching your optic nerves. Don't worry. Your eyes I think he's are done. Dust. We going in? Yes, we are. Hey, turn around. Yes? Hello. What can I do for you? Where's Evan Parker? Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I know she was here in your clinic. Ah, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Ah, a loaded question if I've ever heard one. You, I recall, you've visited me before. Whereas you, I can't quite place. Let me guess, Tiger Claws? 
I'm with the Mox. Ah, the Mox. Enchanté. So, what brings you here? Nomad. I used to ride with nomads. Resourceful folk. Wouldn't cast anything aside until it was worn down, dead, couldn't be fixed or reused in some other way. But what you're giving these girls, not even nomads would touch that. <sighs> Please, let's not exaggerate. I give them what I can. You're looking for a friend? <laughs> Helping working girls? Heard you help the working girls around here. Well, very few children will play with broken toys. So when skin goes flabby, sockets go out of whack, implants malfunction, I'm sure you get the gist. You pay for goods, you expect top quality. Consumerism 101. Please, scrapyards offer better quality than this. Just told you, Evelyn Parker. Already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course, I can't remember each and every one. Please set your exquisite. Can't speak or what? You remember her. I know you do. Went jittery soon as I mentioned her name. Don't try getting out of this. I know you remember her. I, I have a neurological condition. It's not easy living with ticks. Really, I'd love to help, but... If only I knew who you were talking about. Check your logs. What about your logs? You gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. What was wrong with her? You mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. Damage was caused by a netrunner using homebrewed malware. Sounds about right. Get to the point. Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. Don't talk to her that way. Don't talk to her like that. She insulted me! Look, the quicker you spill, the shorter you'll have to put up with us. Now, Evelyn Parker, where is she? Could very well be on her way to becoming the next underground brain dance, darling. That's all I know. You know that for sure? You sure about this? Four days I had her here. She was out cold in La La Land for practically every minute. It wasn't a slumber party. We didn't have pillow fights and promised to send each other postcards. Underground BDs. What do you mean by underground? I don't know. I mean, I don't watch that sort of stuff. Snuff? XBDs? I told you I don't know. Where will we find her? How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't know. I... I did what anyone in my place would do. When I realized I wouldn't be able to help her, patch her up, I called my fixer. Two guys came and picked her up the same day. 
Who's your fixer? Who'd you call? Who's your fixer? With Kako. Told her I had a busted doll with a BD implant to hand off. Where did they take her? I told you already. I don't know. They weren't the talkative kind, and I'm no gunk. I know better than to ask questions of people like that. You're no gunk? What do you think? Why do all these girls come in here, let you grope around them? Think it's for your charm? Your caring attitude? They do it because they got no choice. And in the end, they despise you. They can smell you pathetic. what they look like? These guys, what do they look like? Like you, me, anyone else in this city. Really now? They look like you? They look like the kind of guys you don't make eye contact with. One of them was a bearded fellow. The two that came for her didn't say anything about where they were going to take her, what they were going to do to her. Mentioned something about virtues with a moth, of all things. Said she'd be perfect for them, whatever that means. But that's really all I know. You ponder off like she was some fucking inanimate mannequin. Because that's exactly what she was. Need air. I'll be outside. Okay, she left. We can say she's just upset. She, uh, overdid it a bit. Temper's been running high lately. Yes, well, you're a far more reasonable beast. Handsomer, too. Alright, so if you select any violent options on this guy, like, if you punch him, it doesn't matter if Judy punches him, but if you punch him, then you won't have access to him as a Ripper Doc. 